Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video we're going to be looking at my second tutorial for Adobe Lightroom 5. Today we're going to be looking at organizing your files and keeping them organized, selecting which files you want to edit, and a few more shortcuts which are helpful when editing in Lightroom. So if you haven't seen my first video on Adobe Lightroom which was import, rate and rename your files, click this video here which will take you straight to that video. Or stick around to the end of this video and there are links to some of my other videos there. So let's jump onto Lightroom. When you open Lightroom again, you see this window. You'll notice down the left hand side there's a collections folder and I'm in my secret agent folder. And in here there are a bunch of images which are from a recent photo shoot that I did with a friend of mine and we did a secret agent shoot. Now there are, obviously this is in a folder. This folder is set on keywords but the two main rating systems I use are numbers and colors. So for numbers, 1 to 5 on your keyboard rates it from 1 to 5 stars. And then from 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0 rates it red, yellow, green, blue or purple. So you'll notice on my left hand side under collections there's a smart collections panel. And then there are blue, red and secret agent. So what you want to do first is you want to set up some more smart collections based on the colours. So hit the plus button and go to create smart collection then label it green for example and inside the collection you want smart collections and then label this you choose label color is and green hit create and that will create you a green file right there so if you make any of your images green it will show up in that folder sorry about that I just had to shut the door because there's people outside making noise so let's go back into the secret agent folder so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through and I'm going to make the, the pictures bigger and I'm going to select the images that I want to edit and I'm going to rate them with a 5. Now all my images are rated to 0 when I bring them in on the import which I showed in my last video. <clears throat> and then what I do is I rate any image that I want to look at later and edit to a 5. Some people use 1, 2, 5. Um, I'm going to start using the lower ratings for photos that I want to keep for me but won't ever get edited. Um, but for now I simply label them to a 5. I'll set up a smart collection on the left hand side for 5 stars now, so you can just see, again, we just did green, but let's call this one 5 stars, sorry that's a percent sign, 5 stars, inside the collection you want smart collection, and then you go to rating is 5 stars, and you hit create. And that will put any photos that have got 5 stars into that folder. So I'm going to go through now, I'm going to speed this part of the video up. And I'm going to select the photos I want to edit and I'm going to make them 5 stars just by hitting the 5 key on my keyboard. So as you can see I went through that really quickly and I've set uh, certain images whether they're good, bad or just personal preference to 5 stars. So now rather than having all these folders that I want to look at to edit I can hit the 5 stars folder and it gives me eight images there, which I can then edit. So the editing process is another video that's coming soon. That's simply my way of rating them. If I wanted to rate, say these are my eight favorite images that I definitely want to edit, I can rate those to five stars. Let's say I've got some other images that I maybe might want to edit at LA. So you could use the color system. So let's say this one and I'm going to hit 6 which labels it to red and then I don't know this one 6 to label it to red and then that one 6 to label it to red that would then put it in a separate folder here in the red folder now to remove the color or the rating you can hit 6 again which removes the color or you can hit 0 on your keyboard to 0 your numbers um, I don't believe you hit in 5 does the same it doesn't it will just rate it to 5 again. So you hit 0 to remove a star rating or you hit the same number on the keyboard to rate it again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to put up a list of really handy shortcuts on the screen now, full screen, nothing else, a little bit of music underneath. If you want to take a screenshot of that for later use, feel free to do so. Um, thanks for watching this video. If you've liked it, hit the like button. Share it on social media if you've got friends you think will like this or even if you don't think you've got friends you think you like this. You may have friends that like this sort of stuff that you don't know about. And uh, subscribe to my channel to keep up to date with my latest videos. Thanks once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.
Don't forget you can watch my videos on the go with the Android or iOS YouTube app. So why don't you try that out? And make sure you subscribe to my channel to be kept up to date with my latest videos. This video is supported by MassDrop. For more information, why not check out the link in this video's description. So what is MassDrop? Well, MassDrop is a website found at massdrop.com for community commerce. They sell all sorts of fantastic things at fantastic prices. So how does it work? Well, when you sign up for the newsletter and join the MassDrop community, you'll be sent emails with their new products every day. You can talk about the products within the community that you want to see on MassDrop and once enough people want the same product, MassDrop get you a fantastic discount. So essentially, the more people that want one product, the cheaper it is for everybody. They also have a referral program. So if you sign up for MassDrop today and refer five of your friends, you'll get a free gift worth $50. And you'll also be helping me support this channel. Make sure you check out the links in this video's description to help support the channel if you enjoy my content. And while you're there, why not hit the link and start your free 30-day trial of Amazon Prime Instant Video or Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime Instant Video members can enjoy unlimited instant streaming of over 15,000 movies and TV shows, watch anywhere, anytime with unlimited access throughout the UK, and watch exclusive hit TV shows before they air on British TV. Amazon Prime members can enjoy all the benefits of Amazon Prime Instant Video, while also borrowing books from a choice of over 500,000 titles from the Kindle Owners Lending Library and also get unlimited free one-day delivery on millions of items.